can you solve these equations? For example, 2x plus 7x plus 5 equals 10x, where x equals 5, and that solves it. Because it's effectively 45 plus 5 is 50. Apparently, this game goes in some really messed up directions, as I've heard. So our first equation solving challenge, okay, come on, you're going to use i, even though that's the imaginary unit. Okay, but this goes to 11, right? Like, it's 11 times 11 is 121, like, yeah, I know this. And these negative i's, like, combine together to make 11. However, you can always return here later to update your answer. That's just some suspicious stuff. Okay. Well, I suddenly feel like I might be, like, using other letters or something because this is weird and, like, you obviously want it to be, like, a thousand, like, ten thousand a thousand <laughs> t divided by ten if we assume that it starts at ten thousand and gets to decrease every time it's used. <laughs> Submit. One plus two s plus three s plus four equals five s minus six plus seven minus eight. Let me simplify that in, like, terms we can actually understand. So the, the equation, what I'm typing here, is, like, minus 6 plus 7 minus 8, which is 13, right, which is 5. Uh, so if you subtract 5 as a real size, obviously that makes no sense. So it needs to change to something where, like, 10, 5, something like that. Just, like, times 3, right? If it starts at 1, but I don't even know, really, if it could start 1. I'm just going to do... Can I delete? What the? I can delete the bold at the start? Excuse me? Well, anyway. <laughs> S times 3. Submit. B, capital B. Why? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. That, um, that makes it suddenly seem like the T stands, like, it's not multiplying. It's just another digit, maybe. Um... But that's pretty bad from the cause. Also, it doesn't make sense, unless it's zero, which doesn't work either. Hmm. B2? Capital B. Like, if we were supposed to think of it as a digit, obviously it can't be 114 equals 18. I really want to just leave that blank and see what next curse thing they have. Oh, God! <laughs> e equals per close parentheses. Does this work? So I'd be A plus it does 16, there's just 8. Um, 8 on this side, but then, but 2 times 4, okay, so it's easy, like, you don't need to do, like, 1 parentheses or something that weird. So, I guess this equation solving is just a string that would work, which is weird to think about. Well, if that was consistent, that is, in how it's applied. <laughs> this looks like dots! Oh my god, it's just going to be dots, isn't it? Like, that's the only sensible thing that could be. Because there's no way there's going to be multiple dots in there, so I'm just going to submit. Phew. We're getting to go back for some of the old ones. Also got some multiplication dots. But I wonder why the capital letters... Okay, so like, you don't have to mess with this, right? It's like 10. It's going to end up with 10. So you have to get rid of something, even though we're multiplying this as a, to an extremely high value, seemingly. Um, could it be minus? Like, are we using minus as both, like... Well... Hmm... Putting in a string that makes sense here. Actually, when I say string, have I alienated people? I just thought of that. I don't know if it's common knowledge that string just means, like, it's a programming term for any piece of text, which is how the this interpretation is happening. So if it's a minus, then I could have this big number. Minus, like, I hope it's easy. Like, I hope I can do something easy, but, like, that... It doesn't help that thanks to order of operations, this would come first anyway? If I did it like this? Maybe just, like, times, a, like, a, like, a big decimal? What if I just didn't overcomplicate? We have W here twice. If we just do standard multiplications, this should work. By just, like, encasing it within parens, and then finding what gets to 10. The parentheses are also so that, like, this won't be interpreted as, like, if, if W was just 1, it would look like 150, which we don't want. Now, we could do that, but we there's two copies of W. Uh, we want it to end it in 10 anyway. So I just square... Oh, God. We could at least make this a little better by stealing the actual square root symbol. Um, next. <laughs> Best wishes. Hold on a second. If I want, I want consistent rules, obviously. And if we're doing string replacement, and I wonder if the first, like, example equation worked both ways now. Actually, it'd be funny if the ending was, like, super open-ended, such that you could keep this answer, but, you know, whatever. Well, the easiest answer even looks bad. Like we don't have you don't have numbers in parentheses for no reason in normal math, but that'll keep the thing we want to do. Now this, I don't know what to say about this. 
It's even duped five times. Maybe we like because T is duped five times. We just divide this by five and then zero out the like the addition. There we go. So it's like times zero plus the big number divided by five. Apparently that calculates to eight one one seven, which is no need to be in parentheses. Submit. Okay, this thing. Hmm. So I could like upscale S, but that feels useless, right? If I make S a zero and then twenty thirty, it's it still has the same amount of S on both sides. I guess the answer is to get rid of it again, like z time zero and then something. So I know that we had five here and negative five on the other side. For them to match, we need to hit this five a bunch of times. So it's like it gets reduced by twice the amount. So just negative 10, I think. So the idea is that the time zero goes on to the coefficient. And effectively, we're taking a negative 10 on left uh, twice but negative 10 on the right only once. So effectively we have five minus 10 minus 10 and then negative five minus 10 on the right. So that works. Okay, next. I didn't do this one. What the hell is this one? Zero times. <laughs> zero times zero. Okay, hopefully no division by zero happens on the last one. And I mean, what does this mean? Correct in their exact form. Let's just fill it in. So we have double paren. I'm really not happy about that double paren, but maybe the E will fix it later on at the end. Um, anyway, 0 times 6, close, times 0 minus 10, uh, times 0 plus 8, 117. Uh, the times that is the times that isn't quite accurate, but whatever. We could copy that in, I guess. 13, garbage, minus... I, 11, <laughs> ew, <laughs> this plus 0 0.4, and it's 10. Anyway, after totally manually doing that equation, that ends up as minus 10. But also, I don't know why I did that, considering it ends in time 0 minus 10. <laughs> but, um, minus 10. No, your final answer is incorrect. So I do wonder if I was missing something big there. Because, like, these were just these so simple dot and close parentheses, obviously. So if I put this here, there's something obviously really strange about that. But now, like, it feels like the capital letters don't mean anything with the final puzzle reveal. So that's strange, too. I mean, okay, I, I went back here, and it's like X, the first tutorial equation, actually does work with, which is awesome. Very awesome. Like, 25 plus 75 <laughs> equals, plus 5 equals 105. Incredible. Like, that's really well done. It works both ways like that. Okay, so if I act, then, like, if I act like everything is one symbol, which would be very cool and elegant, this one is, I mean, ends in 21, so it needs to subtract in ways that will make a 1 at the end, which I think it's 7, right? 3, 37, minus 77, minus another 7. That should work. Now this thing, which reset, I refreshed the page on a freaking reset my progress, it doesn't matter. It'd be really funny if there was some way to convey, get rid of the freaking plus. <sighs> Gotta say, this one is weird as hell. <sighs> the one where, like, it's not even going to be square or anything because, you know, the numbers on this side are bigger and need to be lower. Okay, it's actually sick how close like exponent to five gets to this okay i just looked <laughs> just looked at my calculator looked at factorial put it in and there you go I mean, of course i don't have this knowledge in my head but i swear looking intently at the calculator at all the buttons might be the way to go with this game i was just like i saw this okay and i was reminded so i think this is the fact this is the game that's the facts of the game is that it is one symbol each but it's weird because like does the negative sign not feature? That one has multiple meanings. As you should know from my Lingo custom map minus land. Okay, did I once mention squares here and then deny it? That really displays my um lacking mathematical intuition skills. Um, because 2 squared plus 3 squared is a lower value than 5 squared. And what the hell? I want to delete this. Here, s is equal to squared. There we go. And yes, it works out, by the way. Okay, next. So B, is this a square root? Is it? God, I thought there's no way. All right, time to get destroyed. <sighs>
This is not the order you do it even. Squirt 2. Now I know double squirt 4 is just squirt 2 again. So we get 2.8. Now let's squirt 8 directly. And that's 2.82. You know, it's kind of concerning that you could ask me just does does this hold true and i wouldn't know i have spent seven minutes attempting to squish that numerical fact into my mind and it's not working anyway we have that we have that we do not have w to be honest i was thinking degrees when i first saw this i probably didn't even say it but it's probably not going to work because like degrees into here does nothing at all a negative sign will not work because it's a negative then parenthesis which doesn't make any sense what the hell is the second button any oh <laughs> man i even forgot what this button does i haven't hit that in like damn it must be like seven to eight years since i've pressed the second button on a calculator a physical one it also been fun if absolute value got used somehow but the thing is the single bar doesn't mean anything oh hey i can sneak into someone's dms here could it possibly percent actually i need to try that even though it doesn't make sense why percent would go then 50 imagine if modulo actually man modulo is also ridiculous no way no way no way okay 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 also that's not very accessible but okay it says mod when I try to press percent. Um, god damn it. Okay, just do divided by 100. This number feels too big. Wait, no. No, my god, it's gonna do it. It's gonna do it, I swear to god. But, like, it's... If you don't know why this works out, it's gonna be confusing as hell. Okay, holy crap, it is percent. But, god damn, is that not very accessible? That is very cool, though. Holy crap, I'm glad. Really happy to have thought of that, because, like, this doesn't even appear on the calculator except as mod. But, anyway, to explain, modulo is like division, but it gets the remainder instead. And it uses the percent sign most commonly in programming, you would likely see it. It's not a commonly taught operation, but it's using the whole double meaning of percent versus modulo as part of this puzzle. So, I think we're done. Let's assemble it. Temperance mains assemble. T, I can just do that. Times 13% minus 7 squared. That's, I'm just going to type in 49, god damn it. And 0 0.4, close parentheses, and square it. 6 square root, then get rid of it, is just 6 times, but I'm just going to post this in the calculator. What do you mean invalid input? I control, fine. So it's 2265.76. Assuming that that percent actually works like a percent and not modulo of like 49, but anyway. Submit. I'm gonna stick my head into an air conditioner. No, wait, it's actually 2286.7524. Es basura no puede definir ganancia. Okay, I just added parentheses because it was doing two factorial it was making the exponent factorial um and i get 2025 which is actually insane which is the cool number to end on because it's like gonna be the year soon well, that means it's a new year's puzzle reveal and that's awesome yeah <laughs> okay very cool very nice I'm glad I'm recording this, like, like imagine if I delayed recording this so, so much that it would no longer be relevant. Alright, amazing. Good job, good job, good job. Not good job on my part because I suck at the puzzle, okay? Bye.